Okay, boys, this is um, the nervous system. This is just an introduction, first of all. So, the nervous system of the humans comprises of the central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and the autonomic nervous system. There are three parts to it, okay? And the central nervous system, uh, the basics of it is the brain and the spinal cord. Oh, well, let's say the brain and the spinal cord makes up the central nervous system. And then the peripheral nervous system, it comprises of the nerves. We'll talk about that later. And the autonom uh, autonomic nervous system is controlled by hormones. And that hormone to be and in. Let's move on to the central nervous system. <clears throat> the units of nervous system, the neuron, the nerve cell, are the units of the nervous system. We'll uh, just go through the structure of a typical uh, nerve cell or neuron. Okay? So, generally, a cell is like that, it has cytoplasm, nucleus, and all the other organelles like that, strewn all over. So basically, this is also similar to, I mean, uh, a neuron is also exactly like a general cell, but it just has finger-like projections that project out like that. Okay, and it gives this special kind of shape to this cell. And uh, most of the time you find that this neuron like this has one of these finger-like projections that extend or elongate like that. Okay, and it forms this table uh, structure. Let's just go about all the different parts of these, uh, this cell. So this here is the main body of the cell which has the nucleus, mitochondria, all the cytoplasmic con content here, okay? And then it has these finger-like projections. This main cell, the body of the cell is called the cytom, or it's also known as the pericardion. So these terms you must remember. Cytom comprises the main body of the cell. And this elongated part is known as the axon. We'll deal with the function later on. These finger-like projections are called then drones. It has branches known as then drives. The work of the then drives is to collect impulse and drive it in towards the cyton or the body of the cell. It collects information in the form of an impulse and it drives towards the center. Okay, so that is the work of dendrites and dendrons. And then we have uh, this white cover on the axon. This white part is called the myelin. A layer of fat that insulates the axons. Okay, and it has these tiny gaps known as nodes of the round rear. Sounds like one of the round rear. But uh, and then inside, there are special uh, what we call structures inside. The cytoplasm known as the missiles granule. They are believed to do the work of you know uh, throwing or you know making the inf uh, impulse jump over from these swollen up portions. So missiles granule help in transferring the impulse from one neuron to another. So there's here's another one. Okay, it has these dendrites which are looking for information and it is, I mean, it does not come in contact. There is a small microscopic gap. Microscopic gap. This is known as the synapses. Synapse or synapses. This word synapse is often asked with the word synapsis. This comes in your cell division, division of cell, where the chromatids are uh, arranged like this in meiosis. Okay? So this spelling you must remember. If it's an E, then it is this microscopic gap 
between two neurons. If it's an eye, then it is referring to something in the cell division. Okay. Um, so the nodal run here actually speeds up the movement of the impulse. An impulse is an electrical disturbance. disturbance. So there is this charge, plus and minus, okay? And that gets disturbed. So you don't have to know the details, okay? So this disturbance travels along the axon to send that impulse. Now there are different types of neurons. According to structure, there are three. Unipolar, bipolar, and multipolar. Unipolar is a neuron which has just one finger-like projection that projects up like that, and it differentiates into an axon, this part, and, and forms the dendrite, this part. Okay? So just with the, I mean just one pole or one thing like projection forming the two structures, the dendrite and the axon. So that's the unipolar. Bipolar, most of the sensory neurons we're talking about here, sensory neurons are unipolar. Bipolar they have as the name suggests, it has two poles. So two finger like projections. One forms the dendrite, the other forms the, I forgot to tell you that this is known as the synaptic bulb, also known as the terminalis. Okay? It, it, its job is to help cross over the impulse over this microscopic gap. Okay? So this is the bipolar neuron, and multipolar is this one, which has many finger like projections and and it may not have this elongated part to it, so it may have just multiple thing like projections. This is your association neuron. The attraction neuron, according to its function, I've just written R equal to CNN. So this R actually stands for receptor. Receptors are called sense organs. Okay. Sense organs receive the stimulus from outside and then it relays or sends that message to the brain or the central nervous system. So that carrying of that message to the brain from the sense organs is done by the sensory neuron from the receptors to the central nervous system. The second one is called the motor neuron. Uh, this begins from the central nervous system, or it begins from the brain, and uh, the brain tries to send another set of impulses to effectors. According to the uh, message received from the sense organs. Okay. For example, if someone writes a laser light into my eyes, I'm not going to stare at the light. I'm going to shut my eyes immediately. So the eyes send that, sends the impulse to the brain of that light hitting my retina and then the motor neuron or the brain immediately sends another impulse, another set of impulse to my eyelids to shut it down. Okay? So that's how it works. So that's the work of the central nervous system and effectors are always your muscles or glands, as in the case of autonomic nervous system, it activates a gland called the adrenal gland. But uh, the example that I gave you of this laser light hitting my eyes, I'm talking about muscles, the muscles on my eyelids. Because my eyelids have these muscles, they shut. Okay? So any place in the body which has muscles, you are able to move. So okay, so just to summarize, central nervous system. A nervous system comprises of central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and autonomic nervous system. And the central nervous system is made up of brain and spinal cord. We'll deal with that later. But the uh, units of 
The nervous system is the neuron, and this is the structure of the neuron. It is a multipolar uh, called nerve cell. And there are two types of, uh, basically there are two types of neurons according to structure. And uh, I mean, it's divided into two parts, according to structure and according to function. According to structure, there are three, unipolar, just one pole, bipolar with two poles, and multipolar with multiple poles. According to function, there are three, Sensory neurons which carry impulse from the uh, receptors to the CNS, motor neuron, from CNS to the effectors, muscle or gland, and association neuron. I'm going to tell you about this. Associated neuron, it connects a sensory neuron with a motor neuron. So the sensory neuron, uh, without this elongated uh, long axons, okay, they just connect a sensory neuron. Let me draw here. Here is a sensory neuron, association neuron, and then motor neuron like that. Okay? So the work of the association neuron is just to connect the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. Right?